All right, HVAC people. Hey, so we're gonna do a, this HVAC people. So this video here, we're gonna do a review of the Top T's RT389 refrigerant leak detector. In the past, I have done several different reviews from Top T's. So they send me quite a few of their products and all of them work pretty, pretty good. But most of them have been like gas leak detectors. Uh, for your furnaces and water heaters and, and ovens and appliances and stuff like that. But they do make uh, good equipment. And I think I did like some air balancing or airflow um, type of gadgets. But it's my first time doing a refrigerant leak detector from Top T. So this is for my HVAC people out here, technicians, uh, especially my DIYers, because this is a budget friendly leak detector and i got several different type of refrigerant because we're going to do an unboxing we're going to test it out uh, let me pull it up real quick this some uh this some of the specs so this is a 14.5 inch flexible gooseneck um, so you can get down and and type corners behind your evaporator coil coils it says adjustable sensitivity for precise leak detection at triple alarms with quick mute function dual display with real-time readings durable design with wide gas detection and you can find this on amazon so i'll leave links in the description below but without further ado it's going to turn into, well, let's do the unboxing box because I'm about to say it's going to turn into an expensive video because we're going to use this R22 refrigerant right here. So I'm going to do an unboxing. I'm just going to crack it. And y'all stay tuned, though, because I am going to do a giveaway. So if you're not a subscriber, hit the, so hit the subscribe button. Also, if you are a subscriber, make sure you got that bell notification on because I'm going to save one for my technician and I'm going to do a giveaway. I may give away two because I have several uh, different leak detectors of my own. I really don't think I need uh, any extra. So this some 410A. This right here. I think four, this two right here. And we'll get some 407C. This 407C right here, and this is R454B. As you can see, these are two A2L refrigerant. They have the red band around it. All right. So, without further ado, we're going to do the unboxing. Come in a nice carrying case, a protective case. So thanks for Top T for allowing me to do this review. Hope it's charged up already. But it comes with a USB-C charging cable. All right. So I'm pushing the button. Like I said, I hope it's charged up. They say hold power button, so I gotta hold the power button. So sometimes these have to calibrate. They say this the wand right here. Pretty big tip on here. Okay, this this the screen, nice color display. So it's loading up. Okay, so I guess it's ready. Haven't read the instructions. They see you got the green light. So let's uh let's crack the R22 first. I don't think I need to do anything else. I thought maybe I had to pick a refrigerant. Let's see here. So I'm just gonna crack this.
Okay. That's the R22. So it does detect R22. Like I said, I don't want this refrigerant getting very expensive, so we don't want to use too much. But all I did was crack it, and that was a gas. So that's like your evaporator core probably don't have nothing but 10, 20 PSI in there. We have to read the specs and see how low it can go. But that wasn't much pressure at all. I just cracked it and it went off. Okay, so that's the R22. So it does detect R22. So if you got an R22 system, it does detect it. This is 410A. This is pretty much an empty drum. Probably got a couple ounces up in here. So we're going to crack this. Okay, trying to do this with one hand. So let's put, I'm gonna put my wand right here. Let's see. Okay, so ain't nothing in here. This one already open. So I'm gonna get another 410A. This one is completely empty. Hey, bear with me, I can grab one right here. This right here probably got about 10 pounds in here. It's 410A refrigerant. So let's crack this one. See? It did detect 410A refrigerant. Like I say, this is a bu budget friendly. So it's, it's something you just want. It's not big. That's what I like also. A lot of your le uh, leak detectors are big. This one is nice. It's something you might want to just stick in your glove box if you're a technician at all times. Have a family member or something wants you to identify a leak. You're a DIYer. You just want something around the house. You know, a lot of y'all don't trust the uh, HVAC company these days. So if you just want to go up there yourself, if 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 your HVAC te technician told you that you got a leaky evaporator coil or a leaky condenser, let him go up there. Let him go find it himself, and then you can go behind him if you want to. But find you a good, reliable, trustworthy HVAC company. But this is something good to have around the house. This right here is your A2L refrigerant. This is the new refrigerant that, that's uh, pretty much around the company, uh, country that they starting to uh, uh, have us go to. This is an A2L. This is R54B refrigerant. So if you got A2L equipment, it should still be under warranty, but Let's see if it detects the A2L refrigerant, R54B. All right, it's gonna crack it. There you go. So it is detecting the new refrigerant. Like I say, all I'm doing is cracking this. Usually in our refrigeration cycle or in our refrigeration system, the pressures should be over two, uh, 100 PSI, 200 PSI, 300 PSI, depending on which part of the system uh, you're in. So this is very low pressure. Uh, so it does detect R54B, your new A2L refrigerant. That's good. Let me open this one up here. This is another A2L refrigerant called R32. Most of these being your Goodman or your a mana or diking system. So I'm going to see if I can do this, crack it. There you go. They see it did, did detect it right in the air. All right. So that's just a quick review just far as it, it does detect most of your refrigerants. Um, we have to take this in the field as far as, you know, real time action, you know, checking the evaporator core. But usually if I have some uh, uh, a system that's low on refrigerant, really low, like 10, 20 PSI, uh, you really a lot of these detectors not going to catch it. You have to maybe put some nitrogen in there and use a trace gas. Charge it up. Get it maybe about 50 PSI, put you a little trace gas up in there, 
or, or like I say, if your system, if you hook your gauges up and your system has like 10 or 20 PSI, that's the trace gas already in there. Then you just hit it with a little nitrogen, get it up to maybe about 100 PSI, and then leak detector should find it. Um, but this is the manual. Uh, this is the manual. It does come with a manual. Probably can find exactly what they recommend your pressure should be. So I'm doing just a quick overview. So the Texan ranges, these are the refrigerant. You got your HCF, you got your HCFC, you got your CFCs, your PFCs, your HFDs, one, two, three, four, YF, you got your R17, you got your HCs, and it says blends. 90 decibel ticking. They got a visual alert screen, which I showed you, which is pretty cool. So yeah, your homeowner, they, when they see that thing flashing red, when you got your wand up in there, they know they got a leak. All right. Visual alerts, operating humidity, 80% relative humidity, no condensation, storage, operating temperature, up to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. You know, it get hot in them attics, so it won't overheat on you. Okay, weight, battery. All right, so I'm not really seeing where it says how much pressure they recommend being the system. So they got a rechargeable, like I say, uh, type C cable operate time, eight hours. Takes three hours to fully charge it. I wish they made these uh, leak detectors. You can have a option for batteries in, charge it up by cable like a backup okay but i'm gonna hey if anybody interested click on the link in the description below i'll, I'll leave my amazon link uh i'll check and see if they're gonna give a discount code for these you know to all my viewers and subscribers out there but also y'all stay tuned hit that bell notification i'm gonna do a giveaway i might keep one of these for myself i don't know Cause I, I I like how uh, small it is, you know. Like I said, I throw one in my glove box. But uh, but that is the RT three eighty nine leak refrigerant leak detector by Top T's. You see, it went off every time on all the refrigerants. So uh, Top T does make good products. I vouch for that. A lot of companies reach out to me, several of them that I have long relationships. I do review because I'm not reviewing a whole bunch of these trinkets the companies uh, uh, emailing me about. Want me to make whole videos for them for. Oh, see, so they got a little scanning. They can, they, uh, these are U bins that bees on your condenser coils and your vibrator coils. So they they telling you the scanning motion that you should do. So if you get this leak detector, go through your, your manual. That's a pretty thick manual. That will tell you exactly how to use it. All right. All right, these back people. Y'all stay tuned. We got more videos to come. Nice. Like I say. Nice little carrying case. Yeah, yeah, I might take this and just leave this in the glove, glove department. My glove box. All right. 